Hey everyone, it's HHO for all. I'm uh, just going to put together a real quick video here just to show how to assemble my <coughs> flip cup design using two and a half ounce stainless steel cups. Um, these are the items that you'll need in order to build it. Um, of course, stainless steel cups, you can buy four of them for a dollar over at Walmart. Um, cable tie. These come in really handy. Uh, some people call them zip strips. What you do is you cut them to the length of the cup so that way you can, you can use them as spacers. I use four per cup and I just stack them in between each one of the cups so that way it separates it from the from the next one. <clears throat> and then uh, stainless steel cable ties. I use these as the anode and cathode, the positive and negative. And <clears throat> to hold everything together, uh, three inch nylon bolts, if it ever focuses here. This camera's horrible. And uh, oh, this is just a coil of stainless wire. Um, I don't have any braided stainless wire. So what I did was I took a bunch of uh, six inch long sections, uh, ten pieces to be exact, and snipped them off. And what I'll do is I'll end up using this heat shrink right here um, to attach it to the uh, stainless steel cable ties so that I have a thicker wire that I can work with so I don't have as many heat issues. Um, so the next part of this video is going to be me assembling this cell. Um, so I'm going to turn it off and I'll be right back. Okay, first off I'm going to start with this 2.5 ounce stainless steel cup. Um, here's the drill pattern. Uh, the large hole is a uh, half inch drill bit. And, yeah. and the small is a quarter inch drill bit. So that's that. On the outside um, you'll see here that I've scuffed up the entire outside of the cell um, because it gives it better production. Uh, more surface area for bubbles to be created and um, overall I've noticed a drastic difference from when it's just completely smooth. Um, also there is a hole right here um, which you will have a hole on your positive and on your negative um, but you won't have this hole on any of your neutral cups so you won't have to worry about that and the reason for this hole is so that you can put a stainless steel cable tie through that hole and pull it tight and that will be either your anode or your cathode okay so now we've got this cable tie attached and what I usually do is after I get the cable tie attached I uh, actually go in here and I use a pair of needle nose pliers I don't know okay there we go uh, needle nose pliers to pinch this together so that way it's really tight right around the lip and then it's not moving anywhere and, and you're not going to have any issues of that slipping or losing your connection at all. Okay, one other thing I forgot to mention is uh, in order to drill the holes the easiest way to do is to take a hammer and tap in an indentation in each spot where you're going to drill. Um, then that way the drill bit doesn't slide all over the surface and you can actually drill exactly where you need to so uh, it just an extra pointer uh, I found out the hard way it's a pain in the butt to have to go in and have that drill bit flying all over the place and plus it's dangerous too so anyway uh, you tap in the spots for each one of your holes and then drill and you should be okay okay so anyway now we're to the last part of assembling the cell um, the way that I usually do it is I start off uh, putting it together from the bottom up 
and uh, let me just uh, set this up real quick here and I'll walk you guys through the assembly okay so starting with the bottom cup you put the next cup on and then you take your spacers like so and slide it in and then slide in the next one and rotate it around slide in the next one and rotate it and slide in the next one so there we go so now that we have this in place sort of now we're ready for the next cup so just take that and slide it through there easier said than done And you just keep doing the same thing all the way until you have your entire stack of neutrals on top there. And then you'll put spacers on the top neutral cup to separate it from your top cup, which is either a negative or a positive, depending on your configuration. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to assemble it real quick here and I'll show you what it looks like fully assembled and that'll be it for my tutorial. Okay well this is the finished product. Um, the only spacers that are actually on this are in between the bottom cup and the neutrals and the top cup and the neutrals. Um, all of the neutrals don't need spacers in between them because they're neutrals and they aren't connected to anything so um, there's really no point in putting spacers in between them and then also um, the way these cups are designed when they're stacked on top of each other there's still a gap in between each cup and so you're still getting a reactionary process in between each one of these neutral cups and uh, it all builds up and travels right up the side of the cup and then uh, comes out through this exhaust port right here and so that's how we end up getting that uh, massive output that comes flying out of that exhaust port um, there's really not too much more that uh, I would end up doing to the cell it's pretty much ready to put it in and test it out um, with the exception of uh, this little bit of metal that's showing on the bottom of the electrodes and um, I'll probably end up just using uh, some kind of uh, rubber sealant over the top of that and that should be it um, then that way I don't have to worry about any current seepage and this should be a, a pretty solid cell it should run pretty good so uh, I guess the next video will be showing this cell and how it performs HHO for all I'm out of here